cupcake frosting. Making a coil type of frosting so that it looks like frosting that you see on normal cupcakes. So what we're looking for is making coils and a tapered top. So as they're building on top of each other, they will come to a point. So what we're gonna start with is a ball of clay. You can wedge it for about 30 seconds to a minute to make sure all those air bubbles are out. From here, we're gonna create a slab. So this will be the base of the actual cupcake where it looks like that cake texture. So we need the base of the cupcake frosting and then we'll start building on top of there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the heel of my hand, hit in the center and then hit around the edges, then flip and repeat All right, I kept rotating it every five or six pounds because then it doesn't get stuck to the board. I'm looking for about the thickness of your pinky, not too thick, not too thin. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna take our cupcake base, flip it upside down, and use a toothpick. When you're using the toothpick, what we're gonna do is trace around the base of our cupcake. But when you're using it, I don't want you going in at an angle. Your toothpick needs to be straight up and down so that you get the actual size of the cupcake. And you're just making a light scratch into the surface. Once you have your shape outlined, you can take that toothpick again and cut into it. So I'm just pressing harder and tracing the same shape. All right, so this is the cake part of the cupcake. And I'm going to just kind of turn it around to make sure that it is exactly the same shape. And from here, this is where I'm gonna build the frosting. So I don't need this for right now. This can go off to the side. If you wanna wrap it so that it doesn't dry out, if you're gonna add anything to it, do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the extra clay that I had and I'm going to make some coils with it. So, I'm gonna take a little chunk off. And it's actually easier for me to do this on the table, not the board, because the board moves around too much. So I'm gonna set this to the side. Starting a coil, I can press my clay into a ball and roll. So I'm just rolling it back and forth. And once it gets to the point where it's longer than my hand, I'm going to set it on the table and start rolling it back and forth with one hand. If I go in slow motion here, you can see how my coil rolls and it doesn't roll so well. So one side is curved while the other side is flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt it on a side and kind of hit it so that I have four flat sides. This will make a smoother rolling. So you can start that back up again. 
And once it gets too long for one hand, you can start using two hands. So I start in the middle, and as I go down, I pull my hands outward. This lengthens and creates a consistency of thickness all the way across. All right, this coil turned out pretty long, which is good, but if it doesn't, that's okay. We can always build with multiple little pieces. And I'll start one real quick so that you can see what I mean by that later. When I'm making my coils, I'm trying to make sure that I make them all around the same thickness and shape. All right, I have a long one and a medium one here. So I'm gonna start with these and see how far I get. When I add the frosting, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make kind of a tally mark all the way around or a line that is just a little bit inwards from the outside shape of my circle. This is where I'm gonna start the frosting because this outer section, I want to be the actual color of the cupcake. So maybe you have a chocolate cupcake, so this would be brown or a vanilla cupcake or marble or strawberry. This would be the color of the cake. Then here is where we add the frosting. So I'm going to make my score marks into the base. We're gonna do four S's here. First, we're gonna start with score. And I'm just making some scratch marks horizontally and vertically. Little tic-tac-toes or hashtag marks. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my coil. So I'm going to go in this direction. And then the opposite direction. Right. My next S is adding slip, which is the glue water mixture that becomes kind of like a glue for clay. So I'm going to take some of that and I'm going to rub it on my score marks on both sections. So on my coil and on the slab. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that it sticks, the third S. So I'm taking my coil and wherever those score marks are, I'm going to flip it over so that the score marks touch each other. Because when two pieces of clay go together, like this, they can shift and break apart pretty easily. But when the grooves go together, those score marks, they go together like this, and it's less likely for it to break. So I'm gonna take this coil, kind of turn it so that the score marks line up with the score marks, and also with that line that I drew around the edge. Oops, I just broke it. All right, where this ends, I have to make score marks on top of this next layer. So I'm going to take my toothpick again, add some extra score marks, and some slip, and continue building the shape up. All right, so there is my first layer and a little bit. So I need to make sure I'm pressing it down so that it seals down to the layer below it.
I can see the edge of my cupcake, the base, where I will have the flavor of cake mix. And now, since this one broke, all I need to do is continue my score marks. And build on top of this. So, what I mean by that is when you are making a cupcake that has to go upwards to connect, each layer is like a step. So you go up and in a little bit up and in a little bit, up and in. So the next layer that I make has to be in from the one before it. So I'm gonna just press these together, stick them together, and build inwards. So if you can see, I'm making sure that the coil on the next layer up goes inwards a little bit. And every time I get to a new section, I'm going to score it. All right, I'm gonna pause here because I need to make sure that I scored, I added slip, and I stuck them together but now I need to make sure that I'm also sealing the edges. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a different tool and on the inside, I'm going to blend the layers together. All the way around to make sure that my cupcake doesn't break apart later. So I'm just making a nice bond between the layers. On the outside, I'm going to follow the shape of the coil all the way around and just kind of clean it up because I don't want to see any of those score marks, those messy scratches. And I'm doing this while I'm building it up because if I get to the top, it's very hard to get my tool in there and see what kind of work I'm doing. I wanna do it with each layer that I do. All right, I'm gonna continue working on this. connection point, sticking it down. All right, so when I get to this point, it's gonna be a little bit hard to blend on the inside. So I gotta make sure that I'm doing as much as I can to blend it together on the inside and then focus more on the outside. All right, so now all I need to do is make sure that each section in between is sealed to the one down below and cleaned up. So I'm gonna go through this and clean up the entire cupcake. 